In British Columbia, there is a refuge like no other. What sort of operation? I think they're crazy. <laughs> run by a family like no other. They raise orphaned bear cubs and give them a second chance. A second chance and a life in the wild. There's a lot of pumpkins here. So let's put them in there. At Northern Lights Shelter, fall is coming to an end. Come on, guys. Co-owner Angelica Langan and her volunteers are helping their cubs prepare for hibernation. Well, to sum up this year, <laughs> it's been crazy. We had so many projects and so many animals. It has taken its toll on all of us. It looks pretty good. We're really looking forward to the bears going into hibernation. In the last six weeks, the cubs have gorged on high calorie food and have gained 50% more body weight. But now, to help slow their metabolism, they've been put on a lean vegan diet. Preparation for hibernation. In order to get them to sleep, we reduce the quantity and the quality of the food, so we're feeding more stuff that they otherwise would leave behind. But not all cubs get to die. After everyone leaves, Two newly rescued cubs are barred from their meal by two large cubs bullying them from below. It looks like a long night ahead on empty stomachs. The next morning, an early snowfall has transformed the shelter and triggered changes in the bears. They're slowing down. They stay in their box. They don't like to get wet either, so they, uh, they hide more than normal. But the two bullied cubs haven't budged from their perch. Those two black ones down below from Dawson, they're really dominant, and they keep chasing them up whenever they try coming down. I don't like this. We could see that they had lost weight. They were lighter than when we moved them over. Angelica decides to tranquilize them and move them away from the bullies. If you don't have the right weight, you can't get them into hibernation. So that means we have to feed them. Both cubs will need beefing up before they can hibernate. Jesse, can you tip the box? So they're transferred into a separate winter feeding pen. They will find each other. Helping with the hibernation prep is rookie volunteer Brooke Johnson, who joined Northern Lights in midsummer. I've never really like worked with big animals like these. I worked with an SPCA, but it was like cats and dogs and not bears. <laughs> like Brooke has been fattening up a trio of underweight siblings that were recently placed in quarantine. But today, two of the three cubs do not look well. They were just very out of it, and one of them was just kind of sitting there, very wobbly and woozy. And so then I 
called Angelica. Angelica rushes in with both emergency medication and a catch pole. Not good. Really not good. She can see that one female, Lavender, looks fine. But her sister, Pilly Pilly, and brother Huckleberry are seriously ill. Hey, Angelica here. Could I speak to Mike? Hey, I'm looking at the bears. Two are down, the third one is fine. Looks normal. Their hind end doesn't seem to be working properly anymore, which is what I've seen before too, just not to that extent. Should I use antibiotics as well? Or do you think with the sulfur drugs we're okay? The vet confirms that sulfur drugs are the best choice for now, along with plenty of fluids. Easy, easy, easy. We have seen this kind of symptoms before. Okay, one down. And it usually shows some liver problems. A parasitic liver disease is killing black bears across the region. But quick treatment can greatly improve the cub's chances of survival. And hopefully we're not too late with the drugs to try and fight it. He seems to be getting better already. Huckleberry seems determined to reach his sister. Pilly Pilly, however, isn't moving. She's definitely further gone. With the female, I'm quite concerned because she has no control. Stress level doesn't help either, and it's hard on the nervous system, so we leave him alone for an hour or two. They're usually very resilient, and once they get the drugs, it goes, you know, 48 hours, you really see a difference. But, you know, that can be also visual thinking. It's, it's really hard to tell. We're just gonna have to wait and see. At the Northern Light Shelter, cubs in the main pen are on their final stretch towards hibernation. <laughs> and the two bullied cubs are starting to eat again in their bully-free pen. But over in the quarantine cage, Pilly Pilly, who may be infected with a liver parasite, was taking a turn for the worse. Is she okay? It looks like she's like trying to throw up or something. Oh God, she's foaming. Hey, Angelica, the female is foaming from the mouth. I think you should come up. Oh, you're in town? Angelica is in town bringing back more medicine. So has called her daughter, Tanya, to step in. What's it look like? Foaming at the mouth. Hey. Hey. Um, so I'm standing right next to her. She's very aware, but definitely not in full control of her capacities at this point. He's sitting here eating. Eating? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's her out when you're in the hospital. Okay, sounds good. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Huckleberry will stay in quarantine with his sister Lavender, while Pilly Pilly is rushed to critical care. You always give them a chance. I've seen bears come back from situations where I would have, you know, bit the farm that they wouldn't have made it through. So I never want to give up. Back from town. Can you try this? Angelica offers Pilly Pilly more fluids. She's still drinking, a good sign. Time for another booster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's leave her alone. We'll just have to wait and see. That's all we can do. Mm -hmm. 
up near the bear pens. A former resident drops in. It's okay, baby. The rehab mooses are coming back, the mooses, and uh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Peter puts out food every winter for any moose released by the shelter that might return hungry. I'm really happy, and then you see how calm she is. Too. So I'm going up to bring him down. In the middle of the night, Angelica calls Tanya to assist her up in quarantine. Pelu Pelly's brother, Huckleberry, had taken a turn for the worst and needed to be brought down to the same hospital facility that Pelu Pelly was in. And now we're faced with losing two bears, and you start wondering, you know, did you miss something? Angelica gives Huckleberry more medication to fight the suspected liver parasite. I'm just trying to help out there. I am, I promise. Hopefully that's gonna make it better, okay? She then checks Pilly Pilly's heart rate. It's pretty steady. The breezing is pretty rapid. I'm hoping she's just exhausted, and then once she sleeps it off a little bit, that she comes around, so, yeah. Most of them let them sleep and get some rest. I've been up with them basically all night. And uh, I was here when, uh, when the little one died. Pilly Pilly succumbed to her illness and passed away. So that's, that's not easy. They deserve not to be alone. At the very least, I feel I can ease their suffering so that they're not, you know, in pain. And with the medication that we gave her, that's what we achieved. And that's all I had to offer for her tonight. Hug. Hey, hug. As for Hug, I don't know. He's sure fighting it, and I'm hoping he's got enough in him to get over this. All right, here you go. You want some more? It's a second bowl this morning, so at least he's trying to keep his strengths up. Winter is coming to Northern Light Shelter, and the cubs are starting to sleep in more as they approach their long hibernation. Angelica, however, has had almost no sleep trying to prevent Huckleberry from meeting the same fate as his sister. Hey, sweetie. Hmm? But now, he's barely moving. He definitely has less control of his limbs than he did at five o'clock this morning, so, and the breathing is really heavy, like you can, hear him brace now, like... <sighs> well, of course, like, I want him to fight it and make it through. And I think he's strong. Because he was right by his sister, like, the whole time. So... 
I think he'll be strong for her. It's just, you know, that he doesn't really have the control. He wants to go somewhere, but right. he can't really make it happen. In a final attempt to save Huckleberry, Angelica has called in local vet, Dr. Michael DeHarnay. Obviously, it's concerning because one bear is already dead. So, you know, the concern is, is this bear going to uh, follow, follow the same path of its sibling? Is he fairly tame? No, not at open? all. We can usually not even get close to them. Yes, so this no, is this really is, unusual. This is really unusual. Yeah, like... yeah. Okay. He's just not able to do anything yeah, about it. Weak. For your average vet, working on a bear cub is definitely not commonplace. So Mike works very closely with Angelica. They make a fantastic team. Okay, I'll take that catheter from you. He puts in an IV catheter to give Huckleberry fluids, medication, and vitamins to help him recover. This one, we're currently treating it with a sulfa drug. And we're also treating it with some B vitamins, which are very important in proper brain function. <laughs> Love it. He huffed it. That's good. Yeah, it is good. So it's got a little more fighting in there. Yeah. When you've been fighting with an animal to survive, and all of a sudden they have enough energy to, you know, perk up their head and say, hey, back off, you're in my bubble. Super exciting. I like being grounded. Mm. <laughs> That's why I married Dad, right? <laughs> Huckleberry's recovery now hangs on his will to fight back. At least he's a fighter. Mm -hmm. Then he is. For three days, around the clock, Angelica. Good morning. How are you? Hmm? And daughter Tanya tend to Huckleberry. But he has no appetite and is losing weight. The fourth day. Come on, Huck. He brought you food. So we've seen some major changes with Huck today. He's still a little wobbly and falls over, but he started eating and drinking this morning. <laughs> he's getting up, he's moving, and so really a big step in the right direction. Oh boy, that was a couple of hard days. I had a few times there where I thought I was losing him, but he's a real fighter. He never, I never ever got the feeling from him that he was giving up. Though his appetite's definitely back, it's unclear whether Huckleberry will be able to hibernate. It all depends on how much weight we can get on him. He has a lot of catch up to do. It's the final days of fall at Northern Light Shelter, and the cubs in the main enclosure are signaling it's hibernation time. Over in the quarantine pen, Brooke checks in on Huckleberry's sister, Lavender. I went in and laid down some food. She was really scared and climbing up the fence. Normally, Lavender approaches for food, but has become very stressed since being on her own. I could tell she was lonely and a little confused. But she won't be alone much longer. She's about to be reunited with Huckleberry. Nah, I'm coming for you. Huck finished his medication this morning. Easy. Come on, He was definitely ready. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, can you put your arms through there too, please? There you go. <laughs> Showing that he has all muscle control back. He's totally normal again. It's been a week since Huckleberry last saw his sister, Lavender. She recognized him right away. <laughs> Still
still weak, Huckleberry struggles to reach his sister. <laughs> now that Huckleberry's back with her, just she's she's so content and she's happy. <laughs> Sorry. He's all normal again and behaving like nothing ever happened. And it's just joy, it's satisfaction, it's relief. It's all mixed into one big bundle that you have hopping around in your stomach and you're just happy. Huckleberry and Lavender will still need to fatten up before hibernating. But the other black bears are already tugging in. or at least trying to. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, might need to check if he wants to come out of hibernation. <laughs> Finally getting the bears settled in for winter hibernation is a huge relief for the Northern Lights team. I don't think any of us have ever worked so continuously and so crazy like we did this year. We had so many animals. We all need to hibernate too. I wish we could to see as the bears. 